right. <laughs> Next up, let's learn how to use card types other than character cards. These cards are all known as action cards. Each time a match starts, you have to draw five action cards to form your starting hand. Uh-oh. Looks like we don't have any elemental dice we can spend to make an attack. Seriously? We still don't have any usable dice even after that reroll? Well, huh, never mind. Even in cases like this, we can still attack. We just need to put the action cards in our hand to good use. Don't underestimate action cards. They can grant all kinds of support and buffs to your active character. Take this one, for example. So playing this action card will require two of these. Uh, see the symbol? Yeah, that means you'll need to play elemental dice of the same type. Some other cards will cost you these instead. The cost requirements for these are much more lenient. You can spend any kind of elemental dice. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, though. For now, just play this action card. So, playing an action card from your hand is a form of fast action. Fast actions do not end your current turn. Simply put, you could continue to act even after playing an action card. Well then, <laughs> you have your blade. Time to test it out. But wait, d Luke's elemental skill costs three pyro dice, and right now, we don't even have one. Well, not a problem. This is where we can use a more advanced mechanic known as elemental tuning. By discarding one card from your hand, you can convert one elemental die into the element of your current active character. Sometimes, you won't be able to perform any actions you want to because you didn't roll the elemental dice you wanted. Oh well. Moving on. Ingenious Invocation TCG. Keeping up a constant flow of combat is much more important than the number of cards you have. In this case, well, <laughs> let's just take all these useless cards and use them for elemental tuning. Just like playing cards from your hand, elemental tuning is a fast action. Come on, hurry up! Use elemental tuning to get yourself three pyro dice. Would you look at that? Finally, we now have enough elemental dice to use Searing Onslaught. Because you have the White Iron Greatsword equipped, Searing Onslaught will deal one extra damage. What? Now comes the final part! Oh yeah! In a real match, you can make adjustments to your initial hand. At this time, we can select any number of cards in our hand to shuffle back into the draw pile, and then draw the same number of new cards. What? Once you have confirmed any adjustments you wish to make to your starting hand, both players have to select their starting active character at the same time. Oh boy, this one's a real doozy. We gotta take it out pronto. Let's see how you do this time. Remember, start by selecting your initial starting character. Let's go. Look at you! 
You sure are getting the hang of these rolls. Now let me teach you one last trick. Free of charge. You can preview your opponent's actions. I mean, that is to say, you can read their intent. Check it out. So here's where you can see all your opponent's intentions for this round. All your opponent's intended actions for the round will be listed here in order. Reference this to come up with effective countermeasures and easily defeat your opponents. Well then, that's the end of the tutorial. You're on your own from here. May victory be yours! Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's one more thing I almost forgot. Every time you hit an end phase, you get to draw two cards from your action cards pile. Remember, you have to make use of both your elemental dice and your action cards to win. Ready when you are. All right, cool. Those are the basics. Did you get all that? What we just played was an adventure challenge designed specially for new players. Genius Invocation TCG can be played in dual mode, where each player brings three character cards, or in adventure challenge mode, with a fixed deck for each challenge. But the rules are all the same. As long as you understand the basics, then you should be able to take on any of those rowdy booze hounds. Although I feel there are still many details to grasp, I think I understand the basic premise of the game now. That was 
quite the detailed explanation. I didn't know the Cat's Tale's famous mixologist had such an eclectic skill set. What? What? Oh, when did you get here? I stepped in while you were in the middle of your explanation. I hope I didn't dampen the mood. You snuck in without making a sound! <laughs> anyway, what are you doing here? The Cat's Tail is a player in Mondstadt's alcohol industry. Naturally, you have some collaboration with my winery. I'm here today to discuss a few items of business with Margaret. Hmm, too bad she just left. But if you head off right now, you might still catch up with her. Never mind, it's nothing urgent. In fact, I think I'm now more interested in this card that you're using to teach them the game. Wait, this card? It's Diluc's character card! Although I have some degree of experience with Genius Invocation TCG, seeing this particular card is a first for me. Uh, a customer left it behind a few days ago, but he wasn't even playing the game while he was here. Oh? And what sort of a customer was he? Uh, he wasn't wearing an eye patch, okay? He had a light complexion and a super serious look on his face. He wasn't much of a talker and looked like he was just drinking his worries away. You never seen him around here before. Hmm. Eye patch, you say? Gah! I was trying to give the opposite description, but I just ended up giving it away. Sorry, guard captain. Don't worry. Somehow, I don't think he'll be giving you any trouble over it. So. I don't mind. It's just a card with my image on it. I didn't expect Diluc to be familiar with Genius Invocation TCG. The game has been catching on lately. It's hard to go anywhere without hearing it mentioned. Every now and then, I'll sit down and play a game with the customers in Angel's Share. I was hoping we could play a game. But this issue of someone leaving a character card with my image of the cat's tail is... very intriguing. It's getting late, and someone has some explaining to do. We'll have to have that duel another time. Good. Then I'll take my leave. You know where the door is. Don't let the door hit you where Lord Barbado split you. Uh-oh. Guard Captain. I hope Kaya will be all right. Well, now that we are familiar with the rules, why don't we try playing a game of Genius Invocation TCG? Ooh, two new players having their first ever duel! <laughs> this sounds like fun! But, in order to play an official duel, you need to have three character cards. Remember, a complete deck has to have three character cards and 30 action cards. Got it? Then, let's use my cards. These were mixed in with all the others I had received. And I didn't know what they were for at first. But now that we've learned the rules, I can see that this one must be the Sucrose character card. Now, it looks like we each have the Kaya, Diluc, and Sucrose character cards. So why don't we have our first duel? All right, let's duel. Like the adventure challenge you tried previously, duels are true tests of strength between two players. In a duel, your opponent can also use action cards, and they'll also be able to grab new cards during an end phase. At the same time, your opponent must also spend elemental dice to take actions, 
so you'll be unable to view their intent. <laughs> Are you ready? It's time for some exhilarating fights to the bitter end. Mewza! This will be interesting. Freeze! Stand clear! Clear. Clear. <laughs> My research. <sighs> Darn. I didn't factor that into the equation. Let's finish this swiftly.
time for retribution. Push luck. I'm not done. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. This will be interesting. This moment will be frozen in time. Freeze! Let's go. There can be no excuse for the thing. <sighs> I can't believe I lost when we had the exact same character cards. The rules must be more complicated than I first thought. Every decision is a difficult trade-off in this game. If there was only a way to transplant the arms of the two standby characters onto the active character's body... That's not how the rules work, Sucrose. Don't be a sore loser. That kind of thing is looked down on in TCG circles. Oh, I am sorry. I was beaten fair and square. I know that. I just can't stand losing. But it was a fun match. Paimon didn't know you could get so competitive, Sucrose. I always get a little upset when I lose. It's like that with my research, too. It always gets to me when my experiments don't go as planned. Especially when there's an alchemy genius like Albedo around to compare myself to. Uh, you lost me at alchemy and experiments. But I'm pretty sure it's normal to feel that way. Playing cards is no different. Each game you lose makes you want to win the next one to settle the score. And the desire to win pushes you to improve your strategy and build a better deck. <laughs> Seizing victory through a winning combination of luck, skill, and experience is where all the fun of genius and vocation lies. But what if you keep trying and trying and never win a single game? A losing streak, uh, yeah. That'll definitely get you down. But... It's way better to keep trying until you win than to just accept you're a plain old loser and give up. Hmm. You make a good point, Diona. Besides, Sucrose, you're already making great progress. It'd take at least eight of our regular booze hounds to match your level. You played well this last match. Thank you. I'm just a little disappointed to lose, that's all. But Genius and Vacation TCG is a really fun game. Good! Having fun is the main thing. If you ever want to play again in the future, feel free to come by the cat's tail. Uh, but don't expect me to play with you. I just mean, this place probably has the right atmosphere. I'll definitely be back. Alright. I think you should have all the basics down by now. I need to get back to bartending. Sheehan's likely been busy making his tavern more popular with his delicious cocktails. Pui, pui, pui. And we can't have that. Huh. Boonie.
Burning Mondstadt's wine industry to the ground keeps me pretty busy, you know. So if you need any more help, go bother Shuyun! <laughs>